Hi, pen fans. This is Brian at the Edison Pen Company. If you're wondering what that's all about, that's my little homage to Stephen Brown. If you're a fountain pen fan and you don't follow uh, Stephen's uh, YouTube channel, I highly recommend it. Uh, S B R E Brown. Anyways, Stephen, that's just a little tongue in cheek at you. Um, hey, I have some new things for you guys today. Um, new happenings with, with overlay pens. Uh, the Del Coronado and the Stillwell. So let me get right into what's happening with the Del Coronado. We have a new version of this pen, and it is a dark ruthenium plated version. So it's kind of uh, like a stealth version of this Del Coronado. Uh, the photos here uh, do a pretty good job of showing this. I'm really, really happy with this plating. Um, the plating has been a bit of a collaboration. Now, you know that Dan Ferlano, uh, I believe the website is danferlano.com. Actually, let, let me double check because I'll put up a link. Yeah, danferlano.com goes right to uh, his website. Uh, Dan Ferlano and I, a lot of you know, we collaborate on the Del Coronado and the Stillwell. Dan manufactures the overlays, and then I manufacture the pens. Well, Dan is starting to get more involved in plating, and uh, he is now experimenting with dark ruthenium, and I couldn't be happier with how this turned out. You guys might remember I did a stealth or a stealthy Glenmont that was a limited edition a while back. Um, I'm happier with this plating, actually. Uh, this turned out a lot darker than the others uh, that we did with the Del I'm sorry, with the Glenmont. So there's a good photo. Um, let me make this a little bit larger. There's another good photo of this pen. So essentially, you know, a Del Coronado with a nice dark ruthenium plating. I really like how this turned out. I will have links to this on my website if you're watching this on YouTube. Um, the price of this option will not change. You know, it's not an additional cost. So the Del Coronado steel nib is $549. Gold nib is $649. Price won't change just for the dark ruthenium. So if you're interested in a stealthy version of the Del Coronado, then just send me an email and let me know. But honestly, I couldn't be happier with how this pen has turned out. It's, it's, it's uh, very, very neat. And remember, one of the neat features about the Del Coronado, it's very difficult to see, and it doesn't even look like it, but remember that this portion on the back of the Del Coronado actually looks like a ring. It's actually a thread. There are two sets of threads deep inside this cap. One is for the front end of the barrel, and then one is for the back end of the barrel. So it does thread onto the barrel to post. Very cool. So anyways, if you're interested in that, just shoot us an email and uh, I can tell you more about it. There is one thing that you'll notice in the photos. You'll notice in the photos, let me find it, that the nib, there, that's, that's a good, the nib is a blank nib. We're still in the process of experimenting with plating over the Edison engraving. So I don't know exactly what will happen yet, but for now, um, we're, we're offering this with a blank nib. Hopefully within the next couple days I'll know whether or not the Edison engraving will take a plating over top of it. If so, you know, then anticipate the Edison nib being on this pen. Until then, I'm not quite sure yet, so we just don't have a final word. Now, next, on the Stillwell, we have a new version of the Stillwell that uh, I'm very happy to announce this. When we first introduced the Stillwell, uh, we, the, the plan was, you know, we'll introduce two versions. One will be uh, a plated rhodium or plated gold, and the other would be a solid sterling version. Well, it took us a while, actually it took me a while, to tell the truth, Dan Ferlano had these overlays done a while ago, but I just didn't have the time to get this pen made around the, 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 the sterling silver version. So what we have here is a, st uh, a solid sterling version of the Stillwell. That's kind of a tongue twister, but... Uh, so here we go. Um, so again, these overlays, rather than a plated metal, are solid. Uh, that's a good picture showing the, um, the 925 stamp. Uh, for those that aren't aware, 925 means that it is 92.5% uh, pure silver. Uh, that's the designation that is necessary, or the, the minimum designation for sterling silver. Um, here is 
a photo of the pen unposted, and then posted. So again, I couldn't be happy with how this turned out. Now you can imagine, of course, um, you know, the idea behind the plated version is that it's a bit more affordable at 549 and 649. When we get into precious metals, and they're solid precious metals, they're going to be a bit more expensive. So this pen uh, with a gold nib will be $1049 or $1049. So if you're interested in this pen, then just reach out, let me know. Uh, that price that I quoted is with a gold nib. Uh, I haven't decided yet whether to offer this with a steel nib. I'm not, I'm not the type that would not offer it. So if you want a steel nibbed price, uh, let me know. I would anticipate it would be $100 less, though. But I think a lot of people, if you're going to spend this much on a pen, you might as well put the gold nib on it is what most people feel. But if anyone wants that option, let me know. So, hey, I think that's it for now. I uh, hope everybody's doing uh, really well, and we'll talk to you next time. See ya.